This is a study that evaluates a metal stat, which is a telomerase inhibitor. Um, this is a drug that poisons telomerase, which is an enzyme that is only transiently expressed in normal hematopoietic stem cells, but constitutively expressed in malignant uh, MPN stem cells, and has been shown in preclinical modeling to, um, to significantly deplete and potentially eradicate the malignant stem cell uh, in murine modeling. Um, and this is work that's been done by Ron Hoffman and others. Um, in a phase two study um, that was built off an initial pilot study ran by Ayala Teferi that showed activity of this drug um, in a, a number of patients who were treated at his institution at Mayo Clinic. We took the drug into a phase two global study uh, that was randomized at two doses. Um, and the dose of 9.4 milligram per kilogram every three weeks was shown to have a median survival of about 30 months, more or less, uh, which is favorable when looking at patients who discontinue ruxolitinib in a number of studies that show median survival of about 12 to 15 months. So uh, at least doubling, if not even uh, getting close to tripling the survival in patients who fail ruxolitinib. This is the niche that um, this drug is going after. So the... Impact MF study is a randomized phase three study of a metal stat uh, versus best available therapy uh, that excludes uh, JAK inhibitor therapy in patients who have refractory disease, myelofibrosis patients who have refractory disease to prior JAK inhibition. So these are patients who don't really have great options, uh, commercially available options, and who have a survival that's unfortunately limited. The primary endpoint of this trial is overall survival, and then secondary endpoints include progression-free survival, spleen, and symptom benefit. What I'm excited to see with this drug is whether the phase two results um, are replicated in a controlled fashion. And uh, what we saw in the phase two results were the, a link between on-target activity, so pharmacodynamic um, uh, on-target achievement, uh, linked to uh, improvement in symptom and spleen burden, um, as well as reduction in JAK2, V617F, CalR, and MPL mutation burden, and bone marrow fibrosis reduction uh, associated with improved um, uh, symptom, spleen, and survival benefits. So um, really tying in the, 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 the target of the drug, um, biomarker responses, and um, outcome measures that matter. And, and I think what is most important about the study is first study in myelofibrosis with a primary endpoint, a registration study with overall survival.